a crown with dots above it. These graffiti markings are from a local street gang here in the Bronx, the Latin King Goonies. Police say a hateful crime started when a 17-year-old tried to join the gang. Nine men between the ages of 16 and 23, all of whom have been arrested, allegedly spent hours torturing the young recruit in this abandoned house, believing he was gay. They then allegedly lured two other men to the house, one 17 years old, one 30 years old, accused them of being gay, and tortured them. Neighbors were disgusted. It's just something real crazy. I can't believe somebody would do something like that. People in this working class neighborhood say it can be a difficult place to be different. It's kind of dangerous to live in a neighborhood who's not very well pleased with people who are gay. So it's, I would say it's awful. The tortures allegedly included burnings and beatings, and two of the men were sodomized, one with a plunger handle, another with a miniature baseball bat. One of the victims, the 30-year-old man, frequented this deli. The manager describes him as a good guy. For me, it's nice. Good, good, good people, good customer. Uh, he like down there, my brother, the, everything, everything coming nice over here in the store. The sister of one of the suspects, Nelson Falou, says her brother is innocent. He didn't do nothing. I know he didn't do nothing because I saw I, he was home with us all day. He was spending time with his girlfriend. A lawyer for another suspect, Stephen Caraballo, says this was just a party that got out of control and that his client threw only one punch. It's not against the law not to turn folks in, but there are other considerations and other facts that I really can't go into at this time that might explain uh, his actions or his non-actions during the course of this incident. The men are charged with robbery, assault, sexual abuse, and unlawful imprisonment as hate crimes, charges that could lead to several years in prison. Police say the victims received hospital treatment for non-life-threatening injuries and all have been discharged from the hospital. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, New York.